Welcome back to another edition of the House Always Wins, man. Week four, National Football League edition. It's your boy, man, the sports maven with the drop shag, man. Your boy, Bruce T, man. Listen, listen. Y'all crazy in here, cause last week, Sheldon won. On somebody ticket, it was 8-0. I say winner, winner, Tyson chicken dinner. This is what I got for you this week, though. I got some fire for you this week. I know you don't want to listen, but I need you to like, share, and subscribe. Cause once I do this, we're going viral with this. Let, 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 let's go ahead and get to the furry pick. Um, Buck Aneers. Yeah, going to New England. I say Tom Brady would, would rather die right now on the plane of COVID than to lose in New England, okay? I say he covers the seven, and I think it's going to be under. I think every teammate around him knows what he's playing for, okay? He might cry a little bit, hmm? Because all the banners are with his name on it. But understand this, they will smack the shellacking off of Bill Belichick. You hear what I said, man, I like it, man. And let me give you some stats though so you don't think I'm lying now. Listen, uh, boom shakalaka. The biggest home underdog that the New England has ever been in 20 years is on Sunday, okay? Now, Antonio Brown is coming back from the COVID list. JPP will be back. Now, he will be limited because he has a hip injury. But don't think that Indominus who won't be out there to smack Devin Smith, Devin White, all them boys out there ready to run, man. Also, James White will be out for the season. So they would not have an outlet from the young rookie to throw to. Now, last year, the Bucks were 5-0 after a loss against the spread. Hmm? They lost to the Rams 34 to 24 last week. I think Tom Brady and them have been focused in practice this week, and I think they're going to Foxborough with a mission on their mind. Gone dominate. Okay, let's go. Next, next on my list. This may shock some people, but what up though, dawg? Shout out to my Detroit partners, man. I like the lines this week, man. Plus three, man. Plus three. Now look, Detroit is two and one against the spread this year. If you've been watching football the first three, first three weeks, they play very, very hard. Dan Campbell has them boys playing hard. Now listen, this is what I'm saying. Chicago doesn't even know who the starting quarterback is this week. They don't know if it's going to be Andy, if it's going to be Justin, if it's going to be Foles. That's bad. They, they, they try to say it's an old trickeration, but all of them trash right now, okay? So it really doesn't matter, man. Now understand this. Basically, Detroit shouldn't be 0-3. It's easy to say that Detroit can be under 3 and 0. Excuse me, but they, they really could. But I, I digress. I think that uh, Dan Campbell has the defense playing right. I think that those running backs and Williams and then Swift uh, have the uh, the all the defense on their heels. And I think that my guy Jerry Goff will actually play a better game. Give me Detroit with the plus three. I think they're ready to break through, man. Who else I got on here, man? Uh, Seattle, man. Seattle with the plus three, man. I know. I know what some of y'all thinking, man. They they lost last week. They lost. It's okay, but who you believe in? Do you believe in Russ? Or do you believe in Jimmy Garoppolo? I told you about believing people with 17 letters in their last name, man. What happened last week? Hmm? Now they got them winning this week by three. It's a sleeper game. You better pick Russ. You better pick Pete Carroll. You better pick TJ Lockett and them boys, man. Now look, they are three, 13 and two against the spread. Guess, guess what team that is? Hmm? The 49ers. Guess who been coaching them? Cal Shanahan. Yeah, and that's what his record is as a home favorite. He's 3-12-2 and two as a home favorite, man. So if I had to pick anybody, I'm going to pick my guy Russell Wilson to go on out there and finish the deal off, man. Also on my list, I like Kansas City to smack the dog. You know what? Out of the Eagles, you understand me? I like New Orleans. They gonna cover that. They going back, goddamn, to the Super Bowl, to the Super Dome. They gonna raise the roof and them up. And listen, it's a sleeper. I know some of y'all might be scared, but give me Minnesota plus two. Give me Minnesota plus two. Now understand, Minnesota been they can easily be three and zero. Don't let don't let the game fool you. But if you got any questions, though, hit me up Sunday morning, 9 o'clock, 9.30, 10 o'clock. DM me. Hit up SOS. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know. Did I miss a game that you like? Do you want to hear a Monday night game? Do you want to hear a Thursday night game? Let me know ahead of time. It's your boy Bruce T, man, the sports maven with the drop shag. Well, we're not just accurate. Hmm? 
What am I though, guys? I'm spot on, man. I'll see y'all next week, man. Get out of my face, man. Oodles and noodles. Half the salt packet.